Lindsley Ruth, CEO of RS Components. Well, I think the industry in the UK needs a Bright Sparks program from Electronics Weekly because there's a shortage of engineers that's anticipated in the UK by 2022. The average age of an engineer in the UK today is around 54 years old. So as we move forward over, over the coming five to 10 years, uh, the need for engineers is increasing. And unfortunately, the output from universities and schools is decreasing. So there's a large gap moving forward. For us at ours components, there's a strong need because we have 6,000 employees globally. However, half of those employees happen to be located here in the UK. There's a strong digital talent pool here in the UK, um, but the technology side of the business, so the hardware engineers, is, is lacking. So I, I think there's an opportunity. Um, if you look to the past and, and look at the success of the Silicon Valley and its continued rejuvenation, if you will, um, it's really because of the ecosystem that's been created. And it's a partnership between universities, secondary schools, the government and, and industry um, to build the proper ecosystem to develop the leaders of the future. If you look at one of the most successful selling computers in the history of the UK, it's Raspberry Pi. And they just recently sold their 10 millionth um, unit. And if I look at Evan Upton and the team of the Pi Foundation, um, they didn't require a significant amount of investment. So it's a lot of engineers that had some great ideas and now they're in their fourth year and have created quite a successful company here in the UK. So yes, individuals can make a considerable difference. I think the biggest barrier to young people choosing a career in electronics is choice. If you look today at the number of undergraduate degrees, for example, when I graduated from college at my university in the United States, there were around half the number of degrees that exist today at the same university. So I think there's a broad range of choice today. I also think the fact that, you know, much like the U.S., the U.K. has moved more to a services economy, there's probably a greater emphasis on software and financial services and other areas as opposed to technology um, and the hardware side of the business. But make no mistake, the hardware side is still really important uh, to the future success of, of the UK and um, Western countries. So if, if we look into the future out the next five years, I think the UK uh, is at a crossroads. And um, unfortunately, Brexit uh, has created a lot of uncertainty. Um, however, I do feel confident in the role that RS Components will play, not only as a UK company, but as an international company. I think there's great opportunity that exists today for Western <coughs> companies to continue to provide the right services and the right products and the right technology to help companies win on a global basis. Obviously, there's a concern, um, and we've seen it with the recent acquisition of ARM. Uh, we've seen it actually recently with the acquisition of Analogics uh, by a Chinese company. Um, so there is a threat, certainly, to uh, companies, specifically from Asia, coming in and acquiring Western companies. Uh, I think with, with the exchange rate where it is right now, UK companies are vulnerable and will continue to be vulnerable for the foreseeable future. But the best way to fight that off is by execution and continue to invest in the companies to do the best they can. I'm very optimistic about the future of Ray Bread. 